It was one of those things that could have just flown under the radar. Local group reserves small section of Lakeview Park in Nampa for a few hours. Instead, it was the headline on KTVB story over the weekend to be seen and celebrate Canyon County getting its first Pride Festival that sparked a lot of back and forth backlash online. When that story hit social media Sunday, nearly 3000 people felt the need to comment on it, like Allard Smith, who said we sure don't need that in our town. God loves all souls, but he hates the sin. He'll not abide with sin or Brian Collins. We don't have parades for straights, do we? Why do we need a parade for pride? This is not Idaho. This is Idaho, not California. Rainbow is a promise from God. Don't ruin it. Matthew Tobiasen wrote, this is exactly what I was afraid of. This has Oregon, California and Washington written all over it. And finally, Jared Florin, why is the city funding and wasting its resources on, a, on a, an opinion rather funding rather than funding to better and create a safer community and bring in development? Not what we need, he said. First of all, this Pride event isn't a parade. It's three hours covering a small section of a very large city park, like we mentioned. And this didn't come from Oregon, Washington or California. It came from a local organizer who thought, you know, 70,000 people attended Boise's Pride Festival in September. So there's certainly a market for it. And the city of Nampa, they aren't funding or putting any resources toward this opinion or this event, which is kind of why the city of Nampa felt the need to address that insinuation. City leaders saw the comments on the KTVB Facebook post and they even got a few of their own into their office. So the mayor's office put out a statement yesterday to clear up some of the confusion. This was a reservation of a public park overseen by the city's park and parks and rec department, something anyone can do and something everyone is entitled to do thanks to the right to assembly guaranteed by the First Amendment. And if that press release left it at that, well, that might have been enough. But there was another reason Nampa Mayor Debbie Kling felt the need she needed to put out a Pride Festival clarification. For the City Council, because we had a lot of negative comments uh, that were coming in to our City Council members and just a, the public sentiment was not positive. You know, one thing I have shared since I've been in office is that the City of Nampa, I've loved to say that we're the best of what America was, right? We're a, we're a community where a neighbor helps neighbor. We love one another. We support one another. But we're also a community that is based on a foundation of faith in God and traditional family values. That's who we are as a community in Nampa. And so this is not necessarily representative of the majority of our citizens. All that said, one thing I love about our community and that we need to continue to be is supportive of one another. You know what, we're supposed to love one another. We should not be fighting and hateful against one another, no matter whether we agree or disagree. Okay, so I guess a lot of people are asking, was it necessary for you to add that last paragraph? The paragraph where Mayor Kling wrote, while this event does not reflect the personal beliefs and convictions of myself, the Nampa City Council, and many living in Nampa who have already reached out to us requesting it be canceled, the city must recognize the protected First Amendment rights of those involved in this event. I think so because when I was elected as mayor, I was elected with the understanding of the citizens of here of what I stood for. And I, it, is not, and it is not my personal belief that I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. That's a God-given thing. So what they're expecting of me as mayor, and those are the questions that I get, have I shifted? Have I changed my opinion? You could have said nothing. You could have just said well, the Constitution. Well, you know, I could. The Constitution does allow it. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter what you say. It's going to get you in trouble. And so I don't want to be able to shirk back from what I believe in. You know what? It's so controversial. Yeah. And it grieves my heart that it's so controversial. And, yes, I did speak my heart and what I believe. And that's because I was elected for that. You don't think but that that adds fuel to the fire? It was not intended to. Let's put it that way. I never intended it to at all. Okay, so that wasn't Mayor Kling's intention or what she expected to happen, but there's a lot to this event, according to the organizers, they expected and what they didn't expect. So we weren't expecting an endorsement from the mayor. We also didn't expect it to be a statement that felt like it um, further targets our existence here in the community. Okay, so you didn't expect the response from the city, but did you expect that response from the community? Well. There's an overwhelming amount of support. Uh, <clears throat> more than there are negative comments, there's an outpouring of support. Uh, we've surpassed any fundraising goal we ever thought we 
whatever achieve and rightfully so now as we're spending a significant amount of our budget on security private security working with local agencies what we did here from the mayor was we all live together we know that we have homosexual friends LGBTQ members of the community but we don't nobody's out there like flaunting it right so why can't we just keep going with the status quo is kind of like the idea like this idea of do we need this to just coexist yeah I think you know that that question is rhetorical because the statements from leadership that the folks that lead this city have made it clear that they don't believe we should exist and to all the folks who um, you know question why we need a day in the park to be in community it's because we live in communities that um, are discriminatory more often than not so we just ask for one day to be in community and we respect everyone's personal beliefs if you don't uh, believe in it you don't think that we should uh, have have that day, then we just ask that you don't attend. If you'd like to attend, we welcome you. We just hope that you'll be peaceful. The peaceful gathering is also what Mayor Kling hopes happens on June 9th from 1 to 4 in Lakeview Park for that afternoon for Canyon County's first ever Pride Festival. Could it be the first of many? Well, according to Mayor Kling, we'll see. By the way, nothing raises money like a well-timed controversy. You heard him say they raised a lot of money because of this. They wanted $3,000 on their GoFundMe. They've just passed $10,000 in fundraising.